look what's here. Now one of these packages I will say is for the Harley. This one right here, it's backrest for the bike trip that we have coming up, but let me show you what we got. Box number one here. Got the super nice shirt from got this nice shirt this company here is a family owned company out of illinois they're the ones that hooked me up with everything and yeah go check them out and as you can see we got some brochures giving out their information and we've got 10 of these amber to purple lights which will be getting installed on one of these other objects Next box, more lights, four inch red to purple for the back of the sleeper. I got four of those. I got six lights in the back of the sleeper, but I'm gonna keep the bottom two as my reverse lights for when I'm working at night. Like I said, this is just a backrest for the Harley. But this right here, I am most excited for. Not put together yet but this is a v style visor 13 inches on the side 15 inch drop in the center oh yeah and i got my some more purple lights for the inside of the semi again big shout out to gazari chrome out of illinois now you might wonder oh i've got iowa 80 why did i shop out of illinois i'm big for shopping at mom and pop places support the little guys go check out their website tell your friends about them yeah help get them going they've only been open for a year their one year anniversary is actually coming up this year i think it's the end of this month they're doing a deal over in illinois so if you're over in illinois go check them out tell them i sent you hope you all have a great day what's going on youtube the visor right here already went through and Marked all the spots. I've got 10 um, dual revolution lights that are going in here, amber and purple. So this is going to be kind of a install video. I'm getting ready to drill holes right now, and then uh, maybe we'll get it put on the truck. So keep watching. Decided to switch over to a hole dozer by Milwaukee. The thing works mint. Let me show you. I was able to zip out all 10 of them. So now we're ready to put our rubber grommets in and we can put our lights in. As you can see, all the lights are put in. Now the only thing left to do is get it on the semi and uh, get it wired up. So that'll be next. going on everybody so next day didn't do much yesterday other than get the wiring done on the visor it was really just too hot to do anything so you see we're starting to get the old visor off um i'm gonna see if i can't reuse the harness in that visor for the new one so i don't have to run all new wiring for everything else but yeah that's what we're working on right now gonna get this off check on that harness and then we're gonna get the other one hung so we can get our holes drilled got the visor hung we still gotta go through and put our brackets our brackets are on but we still gotta go through and bolt them down but and pull the the protective tape off but holy cow what a difference all right guys so you can see behind me we have officially made our first trip this is with the lights on i don't know why you get a a little bit of an angle they get a weird look to them in the camera but they look normal in person so one thing i um, did have an issue with was the wiring harness 
I run it on top of the brackets instead of underneath because I thought since the brackets themselves were kind of sharp I was worried that the wires would rub on the bottom of those so um, I did notice after a short drive the wiring harness was starting to come up above there so I had to go through and zip tie everything down so it wouldn't pop up but I think it looked good or I think it looks good so let me show you another angle here real quick truck's a little dirty right now but so that's right there with the orange lights on now I put 10 orange lights or amber to purple lights in which I'll show you them switch real quick but I also put um, red to purple lights on the back and I'll show you those too so I'll show you this real quick so everything is um, everything is lit up normal I'll come to the back here as you can see they're red now what I did because I'm gonna change my floodlights out to red to purple I took and I wired this so now this such as my visor all the purple and then you go back here and it also switches everything back here to purple except for these bottom two lights because I have to get those ordered yet so but yeah that's uh, everything all wired up I'm not gonna lie it was uh, it was kind of a pain um, I can see why people take them in to have them done this truck here with the overhead visor a lot of that stuff was in the way I actually ended up I thought you could just pull these out which you can't so I did end up breaking them but with this wood trim back up in here it holds them into place pretty well they don't wobble but yeah I had to pull those out and then my wife had to reach her arm in there and get a ratchet on the nuts on the inside I went through and I um, put silicone in there because they didn't come with rubber gaskets or anything to seal it from water so I went through and did all that so it wouldn't leak hopefully we'll know after we go through a truck wash or we get rain how how sealed it is but gosh this truck is dirty I just had it washed so but yeah um, we are done for the night uh, we're down here in Perry Oklahoma uh, I didn't get much on this because it was hot out when we were doing this um, between trying to fight with getting the washers and everything on and we ended up losing some they dropped into god knows where so at that point it was i mean it was in the 90s i mean that's you know it's hot for us it's not hot for others but we were pretty much over it we were just trying to get it done before i had to leave back out so i didn't get much recording in of that but it's on it looks sharp i'll go ahead and uh I'll do another video once it gets a little darker. I've got purple lights that I'm installing inside the sleeper or inside the cab tonight. So once it gets a little darker to where you can really see the purple, I'll go ahead and do another video and then I'll go ahead and post some pictures too. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen pictures. So yeah, appreciate you guys watching this. I get I didn't really get to do much of the tutorial that I want to, but um, if you have a T660, or even the W9 that has a curved windshield, at least you'll have an idea of what it looks like. So um, I will go through, I'll do a quick video too of what it looks like when you're sitting down in the seat because it does sit low and it looks freaking awesome. So sitting in the seat, this is about eye level for me. I don't mind the windshield, it's dirty, like I said. And that's how low it sits. I mean, it's, it's down there. The outsides is 13 inches and the center is a 15 inch drop, so yeah i mean it is nice especially you don't have to wear sunglasses now i mean it just and i've noticed it actually keeps the inside of the cab cooler too so so yeah that's uh i'm gonna wrap this up i'm gonna try and get this edited tonight it's um tuesday um the visor was finished sunday yesterday we run into the snafu of my wiring harness coming up so i had to like i said zip tie that all down but it's tuesday i'm gonna make dinner um i've got leftover hamburger that i need to cook up so i'm gonna make some spaghetti again and then i'll get on get this video edited and hopefully it'll upload tonight so 
to all of my followers, everybody that's been um, watching my videos so far. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I can get a shout out, help grow this channel, and uh, start posting more content. Still trying to decide on a GoPro, I just haven't done it yet. So um, my plan is for this truck, I've got something big coming in August, middle of August, I'm gonna try and have done. And then there is a truck show up in Wisconsin. I would like to enter this in the truck show. I mean, it's not show truck material, it's more of the working class, but I'd like to just enter it so other people can see, check it out, and uh, yeah. So, hope everybody has a great night, and we'll catch you on the next video.